Well, hello there, strangers. This week's review is a new comic, Dark Horse's Black Sad, A Silent Hell. Black Sad is a 1950s noir style mystery with uh, anthropomorphized animals. The story was originally published in French. Uh, Dark Horse has just released the English translation of this particular story arc. Our story follows our hero, black cat detective John Blacksad, and his sometimes sidekick, a weasel named Weekly, as they're hired by the dying owner of one of New Orleans' biggest jazz record labels. Our detecting duo is hired to find Sebastian, a hound dog who is the label's biggest name, one of Blacksad's personal favorite musicians. Uh, he's also an expecting father and a heroin addict. For Black Sad, the mystery gets a little more intense when some of Sebastian's old childhood friends start to turn up dead in some obviously staged suicide attempts. While this is going on, uh, our story also follows Sebastian as he tries to find that one last gig and perform a new song that he wrote, a song that tells a story that somebody's pretty desperate to keep a lid on. Juan Diaz Canales tells a, an incredibly characterized story, as always, but it is Juanjo Guarnido's stylization of this particular story that really just drops my jaw every time. The animals are definitely indicative of their personality characteristics, so when you look at their faces, you can really see some very human characteristics, and you can imagine what they would actually look like as humans which is incredible. Also, as you're reading through and you look in the backgrounds of some of the artwork, uh, if Black Sad is like, say, standing in front of a shop, you could spend a couple of extra minutes just perusing the window display from the shop behind him. This is artistically one of the most incredibly detailed uh, graphic novels that I've picked up in a while. The watercoloring in this series is also magnificent. And if you pick up A Silent Hell in the hardcover, there are several pages where Guarnido goes over his technique for layering those colors and making it look the way that it does. This particular volume also has two short stories at the end that I really enjoyed. Uh, Spit at the Sky has some political commentary that I really liked. And uh, Like Cats and Dogs is actually a really great story that shows how observant Black Sad is and really kind of gets into his head and what he sees when he looks at the world around him. One of the other curious things about the Black Sad story is true to the era, it's uh, the society is segregated. Black cats, black dogs, all black animals have to use uh, colored restrooms and different water fountains, different spots on the bus, um, which using animals to illustrate racism just really for me was a great comment on how ridiculous racism really is. Now, readers, keep in mind that Black Sad as Silent Hell is a very new release. It's only been out for about a week now, but the original Black Sad stories are a frequent sellout. So if you dig those or you're into this story, I would pick up Black Sad as Silent Hell quickly, lest you have to wait six months for a second reprint. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please make sure to uh, subscribe to our page so you can see more more of our videos. Make sure to like this and leave your comments down below. Tell us what kind of animal you would be if you were an anthropomorphized animal. Share this with your friends and make sure to follow me on Twitter at Danny Danger. Special thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics for letting us shoot in their store and for uh, letting us show off their Black Sad books. Our heroines have an incredible night clubbing, salsa dancing, and singing karaoke but there's a very distinct emotional undertone to the story. I heavily recommend Batwoman Elegy. It is a great story. Um, it holds true to a really good detective story like all of our favorite Bat stories do, but unlike Bruce's adventures, J.H. Uh, Williams III's artwork is really uh, ethereal and it lends itself to an almost eerie mystical theme to the story.